Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So in today's video, we are going to solve another psychology past paper. This is paper 1 from February, March 2022. And its component is 1, 2. Um, and the paper is for 1 hour, 30 minutes. The first question from this paper says, from the study by Dement and Clayton Sleep and Dreams, participant were woken at two different time intervals during REM sleep and asked to estimate their dream duration. One of the time intervals was 5 minutes, stayed the other time interval. So from the study, we know that the other time interval was 15 minutes. So I will just write it over here. 15 minutes. This was the second time interval in which the participants were woken up. Part B says, name the apparatus used to measure brain activity in this study. So again, from the study by Dement and Treatment, we know that the apparatus was EEG. Or you can also write the full form, which is electroencephalograph, or you can just write EEG. Part C says, outline one dream reported by a participant that had horizontal eye movement. So you can write any, you can outline any um, dream that had horizontal eye movements. I am going to write about the one in which a person was watching two peoples. Two people who were... throwing tomatoes at each other now the second question says from the study by pepperberg name two items that alex the parrot had to verbally request when he wanted them so there was a list of items which the parrot asked for i am going to write about paper and he also asked for fresh vegetables. You can also write about the pieces of wood or the keys or vegetables, or oh, sorry, fresh fruits. You can also write about fresh fruits. He asked for those things as well. Now, it's part B says, outline one strength of this study in relation to reliability. So in relation to reliability, we know that the procedure was standardized. So we can write that the procedure was standardized and you also need to give um, an example like how was it standardized the procedure was standardized or you can write the procedure was standardized during the training phase of the study and then you can write for example during the training phase all the objects were red green or blue so if any other researcher wishes to replicate this study they know that they can use the objects with the same colors red blue or green now question number three says from the study by bandura a all describe the sample used in this study and the question is for three marks so you are going to get one mark per correct point so you just need to write any three characteristics of the sample from the Vendura's study so let's say i write there were 72 participants in total and they were all enrolled at stanford university nursery school and their mean age was 52 months you can also write any other three points now it's part b says describe one result about aggressive gunplay in this study so from this part of this study we know that the results were that males showed more aggressive gunplay as compared to females if you're writing that males showed more aggressive gunplay you're going to get a partial mark for this because you need to mention that more from what so you need to mention that their their gunplay was aggressive their gunplay was more aggressive as compared to females so for this you're going to get two marks now question number four Question number four says, describe uh, from the study by Milgram, describe the shock generator used in this study. So you need to write 
any four features of the generator so let's say i write it consisted of 30 switches or 30 buttons and then each switch was clearly labeled with a voltage and then the volts ranged from 15 volts to 450 volts and you can also write that each button went up by 15 volts so these are the four points i am writing you can write any other as well such as verbal designation for groups of four voltage levels were mentioned and the last two uh, were labeled simply as triple x you can write such details as well you can also write that upon pressing a switch a red light appeared now moving on to its part b it says suggest one real world application based on this study and your suggestion must be ethical so it should be based on the study by milgram so it is for two marks we're going to get one mark for suggesting an application and the other mark is going to be for uh, telling how it can be achieved so let's say i write that a teacher can get um, a teacher Just a moment, a teacher can get his students to be more, um, just a minute, a teacher can get his students to be more obedient the classroom so this is what you are suggesting and then how this can be achieved this can be done by wearing clothes that show authority just as it was done in this study because the researcher himself was wearing a technician's coat and that coach represented authoritativeness so that is how he got the participants to be more obedient and this is what the teachers can also do now question number five says from the study by andrade outline the aim of this study and it is for two marks so you need to write a detailed aim so i can write that one of the aim was to investigate whether doodling affects concentration by enabling people to attend more effectively or by enhancing their memory if you're just writing that to one of the aim was to to investigate whether doodling affects concentration you're going to get a partial mark for this because you need to mention that by what so you need to mention the full aim that affects the concentration by enabling people to attend more effectively or you can just write concentration by um, enhancing their memory part b says explain one reason why the procedure was standardized in this study so the procedure was standardized so that it would it would allow the study to be more easily replicated therefore it could be tested for reliability and for the third mark you can, you have to give an example for example knowing what was included in the mock telephone message means that the study can be replicated exactly because if another researcher wishes to replicate the study they know that what to include in their a mock phone call now question number six is the debate about individual and situational explanations relate to the study by Schechter and Singer outline what is meant by this debate 
include one example from the individual explanation and one example from the situational explanation from the study by Schechter and Singer. So you are going to get two mark, uh, marks for per explanation. For example, let's say if you're talking about individual explanation, so you're going to get the first mark for telling what is meant by the individual side of the debate and then second mark will be for providing an example from the study by Schechter and Singer. So to start the answer, first let's write about the individual side. So individual side of the debate it refers to the behavior or behaviors from within the person. For example, some participants may have joined in the activities because of their personality type such as being more energetic so this is for individual side of the debate and now for the situational side you can write that situational side of the debate refers to the behaviors from factors in the external environment for example some participants may have joined in the activities because the environment of having this doge act in a certain way so this is the whole answer for this question now coming to question number seven it says from the study by Laney Ayol, describe the procedure from the point when participants had to view slides in experiment 2. So you do not need to mention any parts from the procedure before this. You are just supposed to write the part of the procedure um, while the slides were being shown or after the slides were shown. So let's say I write there were 20 slides of photographs of common food you can also mention examples such as pizzas asparagus spinach strawberries such kind of common food was shown and then each slide was shown for 30 seconds participants had to rate each photograph on four scales and artistic quality of each photo was also rated then you can also mention that they were debriefed after the study Now moving on to question number eight it says from the study by can we all outline how participants were asked to respond to pictures during the recognition test in this study so from the study we know that um, the recognition test was done in a way that the participants they were asked if they had seen the picture before and then they were asked to respond through three options which were remembered no or forgotten so this is simply how they were asked to respond to pictures during the recognition test it's part b says two friends govinda and answer discussing the study this study which is um, the study by candy this is study in terms of validity Govinda believes the study does have validity, but Anj believes that the study does not have validity. Now outline why you think either Govinda or Anj is correct using evidence from the study. So you need to write either for Govinda or for Anj. I am going to tell for both of them, but you are just supposed to write uh, for one of them. 
so if i'm writing about govinda so i can say that govinda is correct because there were strict controls used in this study which means cause and effect relation could be established because there were no extraneous variables and then pictures we need to give examples from the study as well so pictures were chosen within a range of a specific valence rating and they used fmri scans to collect information about brain activity this was an objective measure and participants could not alter or distort the results of the scan which means the results were valid and accurate Okay, so let me just tell you about Ansh as well. That if you are going to write that Ansh is correct and the study was not valid, so you can write that Ansh is correct because the task given to the participants lacked mundane realism and ecological validity because this, uh, because they had to read the pictures while having a brain scan, which is not a typical everyday activity, and this is not something, um, which refers or reflects to our everyday scenario. That is why the study lacked ecological validity. and you can also write how the sample was very small it only had 10 right handed females so again um its generalizability is low so it, it, the results are not valid because they cannot they are not representative of a very big population now moving on to question number 9 it says describe the psychology being investigated in the study by yamamoto et al so from the study by yamamoto et al to describe its psychology being investigated you can use you can uh, make use of the keywords that were mentioned in this part of the study such as altruism and empathy so that is going to help you write a whole four marker answer so let's say i'm writing that altruism was investigated which is helping another chimpanzee out without any benefit to themselves you can also mention examples from this study to gain uh, more marks so for this you can write for example one chimpanzee gave another a straw a straw to drink the juice even though the chimpanzee giving this straw never had the juice you can then write that the study was about pro social behavior which is about helping others who are in need and then another keyword was empathy so empathy was also looked into which is understanding the emotional state of another organism or individual by imagining themselves in their shoes so this is how you can write a full uh, four marker answer now for it for its part b it says explain whether each ethical guideline below was broken in the study by yamamoto et al chimpanzee helping so over here we need to reflect back to the ethical guidelines that were given regarding um animals in the in a research study and for this what you have to do is you just have to explain in in one line in one sentence what the particular guideline actually refers to or what it means so what happens is housing is that housing should take into account the social behavior of this species 
such as caging in this case that their cage is supposed to be spacious enough that they can move around easily so over here in this study the chimpanzees were socially housed at the Kyoto University hence this guideline was not broken and then for the numbers it is said that researchers should use the least number of animals and over here only five pairs of chimpanzees were used hence this guideline was also not broken now for the reward it is said that the behaviors of animals cannot be controlled by the use of rewards only which means that their behavior they should not be made dependent on the rewards um, and in this case it can be argued that this guideline was broken because in one case one chimpanzee did get a reward at the expense of the other chimpanzee so you can say that this guideline was broken now for this species it is said that the researchers should choose an appropriate species which suffers the less for their study and all the chimpanzees in this study were in captivity and held sorry and had taken part in previous studies so they were used to of such environment this this guideline is also not broken so this is how you attempt such questions now the last question the 10th question of this paper says evaluate this study by Saavedra and Silverman button phobia in terms of two strengths and two weaknesses and at least one of your evaluation points must be about self reports so we can use self reports either as um, the strength or as a weakness I am personally going to use it as a weakness I'm just going to write a few pointers over here for this answer you guys obviously have to write like proper paragraphs for this so let's say for the first strength I'm using that both the mother and the boy were interviewed about the onset of the phobia and other details as well so what it does is it gives more reliable answers because you can compare the compare the answers of the child with that of his mother's and you can tell if uh, the answers are correct and it will help the researchers to get more um, to come up with more appropriate uh, treatment for the child because both the mother and the child is going to give the information regarding his phobia and it will help them to come up with the proper and the perfect treatment that suits the boy because they're going to get more proper and reliable accurate answers so this is how you're going to write a whole paragraph out of it and then another strength can be that the procedure was standardized and over here you can write the same feelings thermometer was used before during and after this study so what it does is it is going to give objective data to be compared you can compare the results from before during and after this study and see if there has been development in the phobia basically like if the phobia has decreased or not uh, data to be compared and it also allows for replicability
which will in turn help with um, just a more applicability which will in turn in turn help with uh, help to test with um, the test GTS reliability. Because the same feeling thermometer can be used by another uh, researcher. Now, one is strength. We have to talk about self-reports as well. So, self-report is a weakness because due to self-report, um, the child had to give answers by himself, and it is possible that he gave wrong answers and lied about his phobia decreasing only because he was tired of this study so this is going to give invalid results and the reliability the internal reliability of this study is going to be low now second one can be that as it was a case study so you can write that even though it allowed multiple research methods to be used it only has one participant or an object and in this in this study also there was only one child so the generalizability of the study is low because it is not represent representative of a big population and you cannot say that um, such kind of treatment can be helpful for other childs who have uh, compoundophobia or you cannot even say that it this method is useful for other phobias, any other phobia because you do not have enough evidence. So this is how you're going to write such answers and this is it for this paper. I hope everything is clear to you guys.